Why the heck do humans drink milk? All right, my primitive stoneheads, let's talk about something you've probably never questioned. Spoiler alert, we weren't exactly designed for it. See, like all mammals, we start off drinking our own mother's milk. That's because we produce lactase, an enzyme that breaks down lactose, the sugar in milk. But here's where it gets interesting. Most mammals, including our ancient ancestors, stopped producing lactase after infancy. That means drinking milk as an adult would have led to some, uh, let's just say explosive digestive issues. But then, bam, around 10,000 years ago, some humans in dairy farming regions of Europe, the Middle East, and Africa developed a genetic mutation for lactase persistence, meaning they could digest milk into adulthood. This was a major evolutionary advantage because milk provided a rich source of nutrients, especially in times of famine. Natural selection favored those who could drink it, and over generations, lactase persistence spread. Fast forward to today, and while about 35% of the world's population can digest milk as adults, the other 65%, not so much. Many experience lactose intolerance, which isn't actually an allergy, it's just the default setting of human biology. Drinking milk without lactase leads to bloating, gas, and digestive distress. Super fun, right? And here's another mind blower. Humans are the only species that regularly drinks the milk of another animal. No other mammal does this naturally. Sure, if you give a cat a bowl of milk, it might lap it up, but that doesn't mean it's normal. In the wild, no lion is out there milking a gazelle. And get this, cow's milk isn't even optimized for humans. It's designed for baby cows, meaning it has different protein, fat, and hormone levels than human milk. That's why some researchers argue that excessive dairy consumption might not be the best for human health in the long run. And later on, we encountered some issues, like bacteria and viruses that could jump from animals to humans. But science kicked in once again and Lois Pasteur, a genius chemist and microbiologist who discovered pasteurization, get it because his name is Pasteur, a method we still use today to get rid of all of those possible pesky bacteria in our foods. So the next time you chug a glass of milk, remember, you're drinking something your ancient ancestors wouldn't have even considered. It's all thanks to a quirky twist in evolution and human ingenuity. Science rules.